Hello, Ron Mithril here once again, getting back to Castlevania Circle of the Moon. And I knew it was going to happen sooner or later. I did indeed miss a secret passage. I was told about it in the comments. We're going to go ahead and go back for it. It's not too terribly far away. Going ahead and doing this now, it's one less thing to have to come back for later on. Also, while it is a little bit sneaky how it's hidden, it will give me a chance to show something that I was a bit remiss on. So the secret passage is in here, but not in the wall. There's a slight discoloration on the floor here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but that's where it is. So there is actually a tell for hidden passages, you just really have to know what you're looking for. And, hearts max up. I don't think I've missed anything else, though. I haven't been told about any other hidden passages I missed, and also, trying to compare what I have with a full map of the game, nothing seems like suspiciously missing or anything. So, we're just gonna go with that theory that I haven't missed anything else. It's the nature of the beast when it comes to Metroidvania-style games. Remembering where all the goodies are hidden, it's a tricky bit of a thing. But with that cleaned up, back to the exploration. And nothing we can do over here just yet. Up here, however, we have a new type of room. On the map, these rooms are marked as yellow. And they're shortcut rooms. The first one's kind of a freebie. The rest you have to find yourself. But this leads all the way over here. And with that, we can destroy this gate. For those wondering, if you come over here to the door, it's locked. So, back we go. We don't really need to be over here right now. It's just good to know it's there. So yes, enemies of interest in this area, the electric skeleton does drop a card. Right now, it just wants to drop leather armor, though. Speaking of which, actually, there was an armor item I got that people wanted me to show what it was. Cotton clothes. Clothes made of cotton. And they're worse in all respects than the cotton robe. Good to know. So let's go ahead and top off real quick. And continue on our way. The Axe Armors also drop a card. So it'll be nice if they decide to cooperate too. There we go! Received Mandragora card. The Mandragora is represented as a humanoid with roots instead of feet. Has the power of plants. Alright. And so... We get a plant whip. Has nice little rose petals come off it and everything. Rather stylish looking. And MP up. So yes, Whip of Thorns to attack enemies. So Venus and Mandragora. I'm not actually sure what this one does. We'll see if an aura goes off sooner or later. Nothing from hitting enemies. So yes, if you look very carefully here, there is a slight chip in the wall. Anything if I take damage? No? Using sub-weapons? No? Well, anyway, more MP up. That's nice. Well, something happened. So, what was it? Luck increases by 25. That's interesting. 
that could be very useful while hunting for items. Now I'm just going to leave that on for now. So if we come over here, we can't get up there. Okay, so that's rather nice to have. And hearts max up. This will hopefully increase some drop rates. Okay, there is again a very slight discoloration, a little bit kind of rust colored here. So yeah, there are tells if you know what to look for. And HP up. potion. So, yeah, hopefully this will get us some more cards. That'd be very nice. And, sure, stone heads on a column? Why shouldn't they have wristbands? So, another save room. Not really what I wanted you to drop. So, can't do anything here just yet. next boss fight here, but we'll come back to this momentarily. Just to show that coming up here, again, nothing we can do. The boss is pretty much our only option. Wristbands from stone faces, sure. So, since luck isn't really going to matter against a boss, we'll go ahead and change out our cards a bit. Meet the Necromancer. Extraordinary. To be dropped into the abyss and still live. But your luck is about to run out. Get out of my way. Child, before I finish you, I will tell you some news. Your precious master is already in our power. What? That old man will feed us with his soul. The rite has been prepared, and we only await the full moon. No. So, the Necromancer can be a bit of a wake-up call, boss, if you're not prepared. Mainly just due to projectile spam. The Cheerios of Doom here. In some of my earlier practice runs where I wasn't doing a lot of fighting of enemies, yeah, he was actually a bit of a problem. As one would expect from a necromancer, he can raise zombies against you. Stop with the rinkas! And he's not done yet. But now he stops with the rinkas, instead he just bounces around in this green hamster ball of death. Also, instead of zombies, now he summons skeletons. Which does leave him a bit open, too. I mean, hey, if you're just gonna keep doing that... I don't think you can hurt him at all in hamster ball form. But there we go! Two level ups, very nice. I know Master is still alive. Hold on, I'll be there. Though, where is Hugh? 
Well, that's a fair question. But for now, we get shoulder pads. Tackle received. Forward plus special move button makes the player charge. Some blocks can be destroyed with this move. So yeah, we get a shoulder charge. Also, with that fight out of the way... Back to the luck. So yes, just proof of concept coming through here, this leads back to that shortcut room that we were in earlier. But we don't really want to go up there just yet. I mean, technically we could, but I do want to clear out a bit of the map. So we're just going to go down this way. It also gives us a few more chances against electric skeletons. So yeah, we haven't really been playing too terribly long compared to the other videos so far. So, I am going to go a little bit longer. We're going to go ahead and do some cleanup now that we have the tackle. I just had to try. We're going to go this way. through here. I don't want the knife. But that let us fill out that hallway on the map. Technically, we are going to go ahead and go back to where the shortcut would have led anyway. Because, well, this is actually the quickest way to get back to where I need to go. Down we go. Yeah, there was a tackle block all the way back at the beginning. So we're going to go ahead and tidy that up. I didn't really mean to face plant that bomb, but whatever. It's a little bit of a trek for where we need to go. I'm a little bit curious, just how much stronger have we gotten? Well, I can take you down in three hits now. I think it was, what, five when I was farming for the Serpent Card? I want to say the Stone Armor can drop a card. Whether or not it will, who knows. Speaking of on this, I was completely wrong. Apparently the flame armor does not actually drop a card. So I could be wrong on the stone armor, too. It's one of those things... I know there is a card that would be fitting for it to drop, but then the Earth Demon dropped an Ice card, so... who knows. As long as we're in the area, I'm gonna go ahead and try one more time. Well, you know, two more. And yes, the shrapnel from the rocks he throws, it does hurt. Not 
Not as much as the full rock, though. Eh, no luck there. Even with the luck boost, no luck there. But with that, let's head back. Leave the luck boost on just in case anybody wants to drop like an antidote or something. Because those can be handy to have on hand. Okay, so yes, we need to go this way. go. Just one thing worth noting, the tackle does nothing against the Iron Maidens. So continuing on. anybody who lives in this castle find anything? It's so big! Ah, the ridiculous knockback of Castlevania. where I am and where I need to go, because there is one more spot. I figure if we go ahead and do all the major cleanup, as far as just things that are dead-end passages that have upgrades behind tackle blocks, we can get on with actual exploration next time. Nice fresh start. Go ahead and refill real quick. through here now. And a new enemy type, the Heat Shade. Those are going to get a lot more common soon. And HP up. And another level up, very nice. that, I think that is where we're going to call it for now. So with that, thank you very much. I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well.